Welcome back to the Red Carpet Rio. Today, we're diving into some serious heat between Kendrick Lamar and Lil Wayne. Kendrick just dropped his surprise album, GNX, and while it's been showered with praise, not everyone's clapping, especially not Wheezy F Baby. So what's the story? Let's break it down. Kendrick wasted no time addressing controversy right out of the gate. On the opening track, Waxed Out Murals, he finally responds to backlash surrounding his upcoming Super Bowl halftime show. Now, here's where it gets spicy. k Dot directly references Lil Wayne, saying, used to bump the Carter three. I held my roly chain proud irony. I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. That line, a callback to Wayne's very public disappointment about not headlining the Super Bowl in his hometown of New Orleans. And Kendrick doesn't stop there. He takes aim at critics and veteran rappers with bars like old ass flows, trying to convince me that you they favorite slash this is not for lyricists. I swear it's not the sentiments. Oof, that's not just a jab, it's a KO punch. Now, you know Wayne doesn't hold back, and he wasn't about to start now. Hours after the album dropped, he fired back on X with a cryptic yet fiery message. He said, man, what the fuck I do? I just be chillin' and they still come for my head. No one really wants destruction, not even me, but I shall destroy if disturbed. Classic Wayne, cool, calm, but ready to snap. This stems from a heartfelt video he posted back in September, where he admitted feeling broken over the NFL's decision to pass him up. I mean, can you imagine a Super Bowl in New Orleans and no Lil Wayne? Even fans and legends like Nicki Minaj and Master P called it a massive miss by the NFL. But let's flip it back to Kendrick. His Super Bowl halftime gig wasn't just handed to him. It's the result of years of meticulous work and an unparalleled reputation in the industry. Sure, Wayne feels snubbed, but K-Dot's lyrics seem to say, I earned this. And that line about Nas being the only one to congratulate him, it's a clear signal that Kendrick's circle is smaller than ever. But he's okay with that. So is this beef about the Super Bowl, or is it deeper? Kendrick's addressing criticisms about his artistry and the industry's shifting dynamics. While Wayne's frustration highlights a bigger issue, recognizing legends while they're still in their prime. And let's be honest, both have valid points. At the end of the day, it's two goats making their voices heard. Whether you're Team Kendrick or Team Wayne, one thing's for sure, this drama is far from over. So what do you think? Was the NFL wrong to pass over Wayne? Or did Kendrick rightfully claim his spot? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Red Carpet Reup. See you in the next one.